Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is TSC Talcum, and today I am bringing you guys a very special gameplay. Uh, I am playing with a friend of mine, his name is Psycho Instincts, uh, and we're playing on Payday 2. I just got this game yesterday from Psycho Instincts. Uh, the game developers for Payday 2 did not expect the fact that this game was going to be so popular. So they didn't ship enough copies out, and they didn't even make enough copies. Uh, there's still some problems with the game. Uh, they don't have everything in the game yet, which will be released by DLC. Uh, I'm not sure how they plan on doing that, if they just plan on doing like the first one for free or something like that. But anyways, I want to talk a little bit about what it is I am actually playing right now. Uh... This game type, uh, it's a specific mission, it's called Four Stores. There's several different missions that you can choose from, ranging from difficulty. Four Stores is one of the easier ones. Uh, I only decided to do it because of the fact that I'm playing with only one other person. Uh, some of these harder missions to do, you want a full team. You don't want to be running around with AIs. Uh, bad things happen you tend to die a lot more than you should but the objective of this game type is is it's to make fifteen thousand uh, dollars by stealing it you either go in to the four stores by drilling their saves or you can steal money out of the cash register uh... and after breaking into all these four stores you should have the fifteen thousand dollars if not a little bit extra that you need and there's one other way to do it uh... if you have a teammate who is a high enough level they might have a hacksaw and the hacksaw can break into the ATMs you only actually need one ATM to f clear this mission but you know we're a little bit greedy we wanted to try and get as much money as possible we would have actually gotten more money had I realized that you can activate more than one drill at a time. Uh, I did not realize that you could drill into all of the safes in the level at once. I figured that you had to wait for each drill to be done. Uh, I didn't end up finding this out until a little bit later. But anyways, so... We're trying to be a little bit greedy here. I only end up getting that one safe. And I know, a little bit of a spoiler alert. But I want to talk a little bit about something that's really cool in this game. As you can see now, I'm trying to restart the drill. Uh, it doesn't always break down at that certain time. A really cool factor about this game is nothing is ever the same. Uh, yes, the overall appearance of the map is the same, but... There's various levels or various amounts of AI. Uh, some of the games have little AI. Some of the games have a lot more AI. It depends on a couple of things. Uh, depends if the level feels like putting the more AI in. Uh, it also depends on the difficulty of the mission. This mission is only a one-star mission. It's the lowest there is, but it adds a little bit more kick to it because right next to it, there's a secondary option on these missions, and that's called your risk assessment. What the risk assessment is, is it ranges from level 1 to level 3. 3 being the highest, uh, it usually has the more armored enemies, which is the guy I'm currently shooting at. He's one of the hardest guys to bring down. Uh, there's only one guy that I have seen that takes more shots than he does. But the really hard thing about this game is those AI that are so heavily body armored they don't like to go down if you just shoot them in the upper body or in the chest or anywhere else but the head that's why you just saw me completely fail at lighting those guys up they are very difficult to gun down very annoying especially when they're in groups of four people like that 
<laughs> that's usually when I tend to run the fuck away. <laughs> when I see turn a corner and I see four of those guys, I'm usually a little bit more aggressive. If I see some of the lower level guys, you know, I'll jump around, aim in, and uh, shoot them right in the face. But I want to talk about uh, the fact that this game incorporates a skill fact or a perk factor. Uh, what it does is it's kind of a feature like Skyrim. Uh, where you can level up your archery, uh, or you can level up your single-handed uh, weapon, or something like that. Uh, it takes a little bit of a different twist than that, obviously. It's a shooter, not a sword and bow game. But what it does do is it's got four different classes. You can choose between any of those four classes. They are Ghost, Enforcer, Tactician, and Mastermind. You are allowed to completely customize them. You can select perks from any tree. I currently am working on the Mastermind and Ghost. That, to me, is what's going to benefit my team the most. And another really good thing about the Mastermind is it gives you the... Uh, doctor's pouch it allows you to heal for i think maybe three times off of each pouch but anyways this game is actually over so i hope you guys like this and i hope you guys are more interested in seeing this game but my name is tsc talcum please like comment and subscribe have a good day youtube